Um, and there's, there's other issues also where people are comparing themselves with things that aren't real, like filters and all this weird stuff. Um, I posted a, a picture on my Instagram that my 10-year-old took of me. We were at dinner, and I made an ugly face, and she put me through this filter and turned me into a beautiful girl. And it's, <laughs> it's really bizarre. And I posted it up on my Instagram, said, this is me. Like, I want you to know how crazy this is. I showed the original picture, and then I showed the picture that my daughter created. I'm like, this is how insane these filters have gotten. They, it gave me hair. It gave me beautiful lips and smooth skin. And it's and it, and, and people were, were stunned because there's a lot of people – I didn't know that it existed until my daughter did it to me, like until she showed me. I mean, I knew that it was pretty similar, that you could do some weird stuff with filters, but I didn't. I had no idea you could turn a, a, an ugly man into a beautiful girl. Like it's it's really weird. So there's a lot and of people girls. Are having, people are having like surgery so that they can look like filters as well. Yes. They're so used to seeing themselves in this way. And I don't know if you have this so much in in the US, but we certainly have here this fashion for incredibly big lips and, and young girls having loads and loads of stuff put in their lips. And so they begin to look more and more like, you know, cartoons because that's the kind of perfection that they're used to seeing in these images. Yeah, we, we do have that, unfortunately. It's, it's a weird one. I think people got so used to boobs being ridiculously big that they thought that, well, we just do that with lips too. But, and butts. Yeah, yeah, and butts. The butt one is very strange. But, it, but it's, it's all weird, but it just it, ch it changes the geometry of your face and it makes people weird. Like, they, they get odded out by you. They see you with the lips and like, oh, that, those lips don't go with that face. Like, why, why are those lips on that face? Like, people who have thick lips, it, you generally, if they naturally have thick lips, you know, there's the Fibonacci sequence with your face. It works. You see it. You're like, oh, that, that's your face. That, th those beautiful lips belong on your face. But when someone has, like, thin skin and, like, angular, narrow features and these crazy fucked up lips – it's it's your 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 body like you gasp like you tighten up when you see it like oh what have you done like what have you done to your face see i think when people in the future look back on us like when we look back on i don't know two or three centuries ago where people wore those tiny corsets and think oh my mm. god i can't believe that was in fashion i think people in the future will either look back on us and and just laugh that we we did this to our lips or they will all have lips like that and look back at you and me and think uh yeah, <laughs> Who knows those regular looking people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about genetic engineering as much as I'm worried about artificial intelligence and symbiotic relationships with technology.